苹果首次推出平价手机，各界认为是为了抢攻中国大陆等新兴市场改变的销售策略。不过 ，iPhone 5C 的空机价仍要五百美元以上，被批评对新兴市场来说还是太贵了。分析认为，苹果锁定的仍旧是中国大陆的高阶市场。16 gigabyte configuration at a price of just $99. dollars 美国苹果公司新的 iPhone 5C 16 G 绑约两年，相当于台币三千元左右。空机价1 6 G 则是五百四十九美元，三十二 G 六百四十九美元。目标中国大陆等新兴市场。So how does $99 dollars with a contract compare to other cheaper smartphones in emerging markets? Because this is where people thought this was going to be targeted. Yeah, so this is not going to be a competitive product in the emerging markets. The emerging markets need a phone that's probably $200 or $300, really a sub $400 phone. 来看到苹果在中国大陆第二季市占只剩下不到百分之五。面对三星和中国手机品牌的低价竞争 ，iPhone 排名已经被挤到后段班。分析认为，苹果虽然推出平价机，锁定的族群仍然还是中国市场的高阶区块。Apple is still choosing to continue to compete only at the very high end of the smartphone market. Do you think iPhone still have competitiveness in China? I think.、Uh, Apple's competitiveness in China is similar to globally. That they have a fantastic content offering,、uh, which works seamlessly. The user experience is very good. But the question is, they want you to pay top dollars to get that experience. 苹果首度推出平价机款，却仍然被批评不够平价。未来是否能够重振市占，仍然要看消费者买不买账。新唐人亚太电视郭颖、蔡如波宣整理报道。